This is Ground Affected. His name is your dad. And this is Form Next 2024. And you're watching Faux Hammer videos. Your mum is a <laughs> Faux Hammer <laughs> 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 But it's good to be late because you need to make sure that you make an entrance when you come in. If you come in at the same time as everyone else, then you just look like everyone else. But I don't shoot myself for this. Why did they do that? <laughs> just drop, bro. Just drop is dropping. That's fing conversing. Are you sure? Uh, check. Form Next is a little thing called the world's largest additive manufacturing event. And I'm here on a fully paid for trip. Not sure why they chose me, a guy who still prints wonky action figures on a free review printer, but here we are. I guess this is what it feels like to be the cool kid on the block. Everything is so much bigger than I thought. I thought I'd be strolling around picking up tips to make my plastic dragons a little bit more crisper, but instead I'm treated with a tech apocalypse. Welcome to the world where 3D printers are literally printing buildings, metal rocket diffusers, and spoiler alert, probably my entire future in carbon fiber. So, the first thing I have got to mention is metal printing. Of course, most of us struggle to print a bracket for an IKEA shelf. And there's people out there printing stents for your heart. Little clips that can grab things inside of capillaries. And it wouldn't surprise me if someone is printing a real Iron Man suit right meow. Not the kind that you have to sand and spray full for days, but the one that is probably bulletproof. This tech is endless. Next is the industrial scale printers. I mean, the kind that can print a whole building. I want to smash my head just so I can get some of these plates in it. These guys aren't struggling with an Ender 3 to print our phone cases. They had entire offices printed in one plate. They called them meeting pods. They printed couches and tables and had build plates bigger than me. I mean, you could probably print a little Pokemon for your shelf or you could print a jet engine. No biggie. Meanwhile, I'm fighting with supports for a dragon holding a pizza. The difference between them and me is just a couple of hundred thousand dollars and the future of humanity. There was also the usual hobbyist suspects, Elegu, Uniformation, Anycubic, Creality, Frozen, and the list goes on. The kind of machines we use to print detailed models and tiny parts that are just too small to be of any real use. But at least they look awesome on your desk, right? You'd be walking around here in awe at the level of detail achieved by some of these machines and when you go back home it won't make it any easier to identify the blobs that we call the plastic representation of regret. There was also machines and resin designed for printing this castable resin stuff. This is a resin that can be burned out of a mold leaving a cavity for you to pour molten metal in and cast highly detailed pieces of jewellery. You could in theory print out your next favourite ring, that is if you don't lose it in the void of your desk drawer amongst the other projects that you will probably never finish. There are people printing parts that could literally go into space one day. Meanwhile, I've had moments where I was trying to get my printer to stop making sounds like it's a dying animal. Truth is, there were people printing things in such high detail while most of us are making prints that look like a new form of modern art. If you squint hard enough, you might even call it artistic expression. That's because failed prints just doesn't have the same kind of ring to it.
that lady was just saying the exact same thing I was saying is what, why are you selling your machine for 40,000 if there's one over there for 800 that's way better I agree with her and after three days of wandering around tech wonderland I've learned a couple of things one the 3D printing industry is officially way more complicated and bigger than I ever imagined. B. I was clearly not qualified to be there. And one last point, if I ever actually wanted to make a career out of this, I'm probably going to need to spend a small fortune on some machine that prints entire rocket parts, or at least a small replica of my self-esteem. In the meantime, I'll stick with printing little dollies and plastic dragons. At least they're still cute. I just want to say a massive thank you for watching my video and supporting my journey into the vast depths of the 3D printing world. A special thank you, especially right now, to my Patreons for keeping the lights blind in my eyeballs. And of course, I just want to have one quick little shout out to one of my pals, uh, the Ginger Drone Pilot. His name is George. And he is a ginger and he flies drones, hence the name. Uh, I want to say a massive thank you to him for helping me put together this video, uh, coming out to Frankfurt with me to record all of this stuff. He has been an absolute blessing to work with. I would appreciate very much if you can go and give him a follow. I'll link his socials in the description down below. Go and give him some love and tell him that your dad sent you. Now, we're at the best part of a video, and this is where I get to tell you my true feelings, and that is if you didn't like this video or anything that you saw in this video, I really don't care, and now's the time for you to fuck off. That is it for, Sorry. why? Why would you do it? I don't like that. I'm not doing it because I'm not going to take 20 times. I swear to God, I'm not taking 20 times. I'm not doing it 20 times. Okay, come on. I'm we not going to do we it. We need to keep the influencer happy. Yeah.